Welcome back, friends, once again to another episode of Let's Play some Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo console. Uh, yeah, so here we go. We're gonna go fight Crocmire. <clears throat> it's gonna be so badass. So badass, and so easy, too. It's not really that difficult of a fight, but we have way more stuff than we're actually supposed to have. Or maybe not, but uh, we have a lot more stuff than, than we would typically have at this time. <clears throat> so, we're just going to walk right up to him. Send a uh, super missile into his face. And uh, tell him to step his ass back. Pretty much every time he opens up his mouth, hit him with a missile. Or a super missile, or a charge shot. Whatever you should decide to... Uh, Whatever you should decide to fling at him. Super missiles work the best whenever you can get one through to him. Oh, you fuck. He just likes to send out those little chocolate malt balls out of his fucking mouth block your block your missile shots so that can be a little annoying but yeah yeah we'll just stick with it keep sending them keep sending them missiles He'll get full eventually and blow up, or get tired of it. It get a little too spicy, so it keeps on backing off. A little too much salt and pepper for his diet. And then it gets to this little soft spot in the floor. Why? Why there's a soft spot in this floor? I don't know if Ridley was trying to play a cruel joke on him or something when we gave him this room to hang out in, but. Uh, Gave him a little booby trap for to sit in. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 don't get up. So, that, that, <laughs> yeah, you know, weird little skeletal remains going on there. So, oh. Come on. At this point, there's, uh, you know, nothing you can do. It's just a cool-ass little tidbit that they did right there at the end. To, I just wanted to throw in to, you know, make the game just much more awesome. Oh, dude. So, yep, that's that. You don't freeze? Why don't you freeze? Ah, uh, we got plenty of stuff. We don't need anything right now. What the hell's over here? What are you? Save point. Don't need none of that business. Not right now, anyway. Oop. Jumping on down the tube. That door, we'll disregard that door for now. In here, more of the little doom energy faces. They look so sorrowful. <laughs> it's kind of a neat little roller coaster -y room. Dude. At this point, you don't really necessarily need to be quite as careful with, with all the little random damage and stuff. I mean, you gotta watch out regardless because it'll, it'll sneak up on you, but, I mean, let's see what we got, eight, seven or eight, whatever. My TV's kind of messed up, so I can't really tell the TV that I'm recording this on. It's like the top bar of it is overlapping onto itself, which is... <laughs> 
which poses a little bit of an issue when you're trying to see what kind of stuff you have. But um, anyhow, you have uh, we got enough health to be able to have some screw ups and stuff going on, so it's all good. <laughs> so. Blast our way right through there and uh, see how many tries it takes me to get the shine spark to. Oh, yeah, first try. Look at that. Get up to this little missile pack here. That was unnecessary. <laughs> so we'll just do a little, do a little run and jump action here. up there. Just that little guy? Huh. Okay. Sure. The grappling beam. Looks kind of like an old school, like the head of a battle axe or something. More than any kind of grappling beam, but that's the way it is. That's what it is, and that's what it does. A lot of areas, um, the grappling beam is supposed to be used, but I just actually end up wall jumping instead because it's uh well it's just easier but to demonstrate it it's just you know you press up or down to get closer or farther away back and forth to swing you can use it to open doors it's just uh it's an interesting little thing it is Oh, dude. Come on. Let's see if I can get up there without using a graphic beam. Okay, I'll just use the beam. Fine. I'll be here forever trying to fuck around and not doing it. Okay. Maybe we're just supposed to jump up and get it. Gotta watch out for some of those blocks because they, uh, the ones like, they'll just be kind of like cracked looking, the little grappling beam blocks. And if you grab onto those, oh, why did I do that? You fool. You horrible fool, you. It's okay, we got her. We got this shit. Oh, come on. We got stage fright. Jump up there, Samus. What's the matter? Is the gravity not low enough for you? You getting tired? You getting weak in your old age? There. There we go. Thank you, thumbs. Thank you for operating correctly. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see here. What next? The fuck is over here? I forget what the hell's over here. Power bombs. Gotta love them power bombs. They're just the best. And uh, let's see. Is there anything else in here, Mr. Power Bombs? Is there anything else you want to reveal to me? Go right on back the way we came in. Out through the indoor. Happens also sometimes when you drink too much. Oh, come on. Get. Oh, yeah. Energy tank. Fun stuff, guys. Good mojo. 
and just go from one to the next, swinging our happy asses across there like a, like Tarzan. What way now? What way should we go? Let's go this way. Is this the proper exit point? What is this? What the fuck? Okay, we'll go up and check out this other door too. Some enemies, it's it's weird. Some some enemies are weak are weak to the charge beam, or not the charge beam, but the grappling beam. It's like they're super weakness. Other enemies aren't even affected by it at all. So they're certainly affected by super missiles, but it's not really what I meant to do. Um, And they're all okay. Just another missile pack. Let's just drop down to the ground and see what's down here. I'm pretty sure it's just lava. Yep. Power bombs. Oh fuck, that was a really great idea. <laughs> Remind me not to do that next time. Dude. Come on. Okay, you're getting sloppy. You're getting old. You're in a jalopy. Let's go. So now we'll exit this area using the intended means of exit. Go right through here. Up there is an exit. This way is also an exit with an energy recharge. Let's go this way. This is the long, the long swingy version. The little shit bricks want to try to reach out and grab you. Wake up. Wait, oh, you fuck. We ain't gonna let him do that. <laughs> Not this time. Not on my watch, buddy. Okay. Bloop. And we roll right down here to what will be the entrance to Ridley's lair later on. Where the fuck are we? What's next? Let's just, uh... Let's just uh, make like a baby and head out, shall we? Yes, yeah, so let's see how much damage we can take before we die. <laughs> So, up next we'll be leaving Norfair and heading on to uh, to the old ship, the old shipyard. The um, what the fuck is it called? Broken ship, abandoned ship, <laughs> abandoned ship. There's ghosts everywhere. There's broken robots. C3PO's on a rampage. Um. I think that I think this will actually conclude our uh, our happy little session here as soon as I get up to the top because uh, the time has come once again to take a break to carry on I ask that all of you carry on without me with your Metroid ways but not to worry I'll return again soon so, until then, have a great day. Good night.